for you two farmhouse and vintage style DIYs that are very affordable and that you can find at a local thrift store and Dollar Tree. So I hope you stay tuned to watch these very simple DIYs. This is also in collaboration with Kristen Kay. She does so many amazing DIYs that are farmhouse style, rustic style, and very affordable, budget friendly, especially things from the Dollar Tree. So go check her channel out and give her some love from Davey. And if you're new from her channel, welcome. I'm Davey Killian. I do DIYs, a lot of thrifting, organizing, and cleaning. So I hope you subscribe and join my YouTube community. But let's get started with the DIYs. So the first DIY is so simple. All you need are some old books. And my husband is a reseller. And so he had thousands of books, literally thousands of books. So I just picked some vintage ones and um, I thought this was a great way to repurpose them because these were gonna get tossed anyways. So just need some old vintage books and this is how simple this one is going to be. So you just take off the hard cover like so. And there you have the first part of what you need. And I just love the worn pages of this book. And they're very dusty. <laughs> the problem is with some of these, they're so cute on the hardcover that I kind of want to keep the hardcover. But yeah, you just need to take these, rip them off. And you can get these at thrift stores. Sometimes they're really willing to give them to you for like four for a dollar. Garage sales are the best time to get these. So if that one didn't rip right away. So I definitely would look at garage sales if you want these. This one has amazing pages. I just love that. And I'm gonna do it with five books. I'm kind of making this video a little bit more casual. It is literally blizzarding outside right now. And yeah, it's just been kind of the weirdest April I've ever had in my life. Whew, so perfect day for DIYs. This does get a little bit messy, so I'm on some carpet, so I'll have to vacuum. This one has a bright, fun cover. Ooh, this one's really good. Okay, now you take your five books, or three, um, I always decorate in odd numbers, so that's just kind of a tip that I have for you is to decorate with odd numbers. All right, and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take some twine from the dollar store and going to wrap it. If you have some um, ribbon, something like that, you could surely use that as well. So I'm just gonna wrap the twine. All right, so I'm just gonna start wrapping this. And then I'm just going to tie this into a bow and grab some scissors and cut it and I don't have them with me but there you have it your very simple affordable farmhouse vintage DIY I'm gonna show you how I made this grow sign and jar holder behind me using all items that I already had on hand. I first of all had to paint the bottom portion of my wood because I already had previously painted it from an earlier project and again I had the paint on hand. Next, I had to screw on the hose clamps, and I was struggling a little bit because I wasn't putting enough pressure on it. So, when all this fails, ask your husband to do it. After the jar was put in, I decided to pencil on the word grow, and then I just used a sharpie to trace over that.
for watching my DIY and collaboration with Kristen K. Don't forget to go check her out and have some fun DIYing. I'm going to clean up my book covers and enjoy the rest of this snowy April. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.